Hey folks, Frank Taze here from Vicious Pro Staff out here in Northern California. What I'm going to show you this evening is showing you how to properly tie two line systems, two line systems such as braid and fluorocarbon together, and tying your braid of fluoro knot or also known as your Alberto knot. This knot is usually used for maybe many your uh, finesse applications such as drop shot or maybe neckel rig or maybe tying on chatter baits, crank bait, or whatever the case may be. Sky's the limit. But here we go. This is how we're going to do it. With the assistance of my vicious 15-pound braid, high-vis blue, and my vicious 10-pound fluorocarbon line. So the braid will already be on your rod and reel, okay? So what you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to cut off a strand of fluorocarbon line, however long you want for your leader, and then it usually starts at, at, at the fluorocarbon line. So you take the fluorocarbon line, like I have right here in my right hand, and you're going to make yourself a loop, like a bite, just like so. Then you're going to take the braid that's coming from your rod and reel, and you're going to insert that braid in through that loop that you just made with the fluorocarbon, like so, coming towards you. You can pull it with your teeth, or if you're pretty good nearly, but I always use my teeth. It usually helps me out quite substantially. So now we got the braid through the loop of the fluorocarbon, and then you have two strands, just like so. Okay? So this is where we start doing our wraps. So we're going to take that braid and we're going to start wrapping around the fluorocarbon line 10 times. Make sure that you get both strands of the fluorocarbon line with each wrap. So there's two wraps, three wraps, four wraps, five wraps. Notice how I'm just wrapping the braid over the fluorocarbon. All I'm doing with the floor carver is just straighten it out and trying to get out of the way as I'm making my wraps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 10. Okay, so we have our wraps, but we're not done yet. So now what we need to do with that braid, we need to crisscross over. And you need to go 10 times the opposite direction toward the loop that you made with the fluorocarbon originally. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how it's a lot easier when you go toward the loop when doing the wraps. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So the wraps are nice and compact, almost they're like lining up together. Then you're going to take that strand of braid, and you're going to go through the fluorocarbon loop that you originally made in the first place, and you're going to go through it just like so. Now you should have something that looks like this, like a little, kind of like a little doohickey or whatever. So what you want to do, go ahead and wet your doohickey, and then you're going to pull it. And this can make a nice compact knot, just like so. Boom. There is your braid the floor knot. Okay. Also known as your Alberto knot. And then what you want to do last is you want to go ahead and trim your ends about one eighth of an inch so they will go through your guidelines. Through your rod guides, I'm sorry. Rod guides. Very easily. And then you're ready to go. I hope this video has helped you in showing you how to now tie your infamous braid of floor knot or Alberto knot. Again, I am Frank Tejas, Northern California Vicious Pro Staff. I hope you have a good evening. I'm out.